Hello, my elementary friends. Today we are going to do a math lesson um, in dynamic addition. But before we do dynamic addition, let us run through very quickly uh, the static addition, the addition without um, without carrying. So let's do a, a short static addition problem very quickly just to get our brains back in motion and then we will do a dynamic addition problem, one with carrying. Okay, now what we have here um, would be your stamp paper, but without the colors. But all our students are aware of their place values. So we are going to write some numbers in and you don't need uh, you don't need any lined paper. Uh, I could show you where you can make up your own lines if you wanted to. See? It is not very difficult. We can do our own at home. We don't need to make a big deal out of it. And there we have it. It looks almost the same, just with a lot straighter lines. So, here we go. Remember, in math, we begin on the right with the units, and then we move left with the tens, the hundreds, and the thousands. But just for our revision, we are going to use our units and our tens. So we have one unit and two tens, that would give us 21 and four units and four tens. Now, this is our simple addition. So we are going to add one plus four more will give us five and two plus four more will give us six. So our answer is 65. We did not have to carry. We did not have to do anything. Just add the two numbers together. But let's say we had 448. Why don't we put, why don't we put um, our place value at the top? This would be our thousands, this would be our hundreds, this would be our tens, and our ones. All right, so we're going to have our thousands, our hundreds, our tens, and our ones. Okay, so now we have 448, and we are going to add... 269. Wow. As soon as we look at that number, we know that it's not going to work out as easily as this one did. So we're going to have to juggle some numbers here. So let's see how we will do this. We will say 8 plus 9, and that's 17. And if you are comfortable counting on your fingers until you get there, please go ahead. But some of the older children would know right off the top of their heads what eight plus nine is, and that is 17. So we have 17 as our answer. We cannot put 17 in our ones box because my friends, 17 is made up of one ten and seven ones, and this is ones. Seventeen is made up of one ten and seven ones. And look, this is a ones box. So what we need to put in the ones box would be only the ones. So we have seven ones, and that's what we're going to put in the ones box. But look, we have one ten that's just hanging there. 
So why don't we take that 10 and put it over into our tens box right there at the top. Now we have one 10 that we need to add to the tens that are already there. So let's go. One plus four is five, and five plus six is 11. But my friends, we have the same problem. We cannot put 11 in our tens box because we can only put us one digit there and that would be the tens digit so now we're finished with the units we have tens and hundreds so now we have tens and hundreds now look we have one ten and one hundred so we're gonna have to put the one ten in our tens box and we're going to have to let that one hundred go join the partners in the hundreds box. So now we need to add one plus four is five and five plus two is seven. And we can put seven because we don't have two numbers. Now that would take us into